what it do y'all welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm very very excited to give you guys my birthday haul i picked up a lot of stuff <laughs> a lot of stuff i also had a lot of points i had gift cards and i was just feeling froggy if we're being honest so in the event that you are interested in hearing all of the things that i picked up for myself in the beauty realm this month there might be a splash of some things that i picked up in november but they were for my birthday <laughs> then let's just get to it okay guys so like i said there's a lot um and so i'm gonna try to do my absolute best to get through it yes okay so i did receive my pat mcgrath order in this order i picked up a concealer and a foundation and i have absolutely no idea if these are going to be the right shades i hadn't done much research other than just looking at the swatches and the images online oh this looks good so this is in the shade that doesn't say the shade name this is in the shade md26 and this is pretty much a very similar skin uh or this is pretty much a similar tone to the type of concealer that i like to reach for i'm just going to give you guys swatches if i can so there it is right there yeah that's going to be great that is going to be great and then i also got the shade deep 30. i'm a little concerned this is in the foundation of course why would you actually stay in my hands when i'm taking you out of the packaging oh this might be too deep and this looks like it's why is it not together oh this is not cute this might have to go back this thing is like broken apart let me shake it though give it the benefit of the doubt but this isn't cute okay this is in deep 30. Is it supposed to be this runny? So this is in deep 30. I don't think it's supposed to be this runny. I think I need to contact customer service um, to get a different one. Cause that just, no, 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 no. Um, okay. Um, I also got a highlighter from this order. And the highlighter that I got is in Bronze Mirage. And this is it right here. Ooh, feels and looks exactly how I wished it to. This is a beautiful bronzy kind of, but lighter uh, highlighter. Really, really happy and excited to try that out. And then I also got an under eye powder. Um, don't think I have scissors in my desk anymore. Yeah, I don't have scissors in my desk anymore, so I can't um, cut this, but it's just the under eye powder. I got it in the yellow shade. I didn't know what to get, um, so I just got yellow. Hopefully that works, um, but now I need to go ahead and talk to customer service about that foundation. I'm pretty sure it should not be that runny. I also received the Tarte Sculpt Taped um, Contour Wand. Nothing wants to stay in my hands today, nothing. And I got this in the shade Deep Bronze. I'm literally opening this for the first time. So let's see if it will work. Oh yeah, that's a good shade for me. That is a good shade. It is right there. It looks a little bit warmer than my skin tone too. Yeah, very, very excited for that. And I also did get the brush because this is only available at QVC and you have to get the brush with it. So I will be doing a get ready with me with a bunch of this new makeup very, very soon. So 
stay tuned for that i also did go ahead and get the juvia's place legos found no the juvia's place natural radiant foundation in the shade legos um and i'm very excited for this it's been a while since i've tried juvia's place products and purchased from the brand so i'm excited to hopefully get back into them um we'll see but let's see if i can get a swatch okay i don't know what's going on with this pump oh my goodness this is too much i'm just gonna we're just gonna dab it's because it's not a pump i i don't know what's going on with that um because there's no whatever anyways this is the shade this looks like a good shade for me i think i did good on that front so i'll be excited to see how that goes and yeah, very, very excited for that. Okay, I also did get a concealer. I got this from the NYX Bear With Me range. I got this in the shade Caramel. I've heard nothing but rave reviews on this particular product. So I decided to pick it up and test it out for myself. I had to see what all the hype was about because there was so much hype so much hype i mean i've seen this in people's end of the year favorites for goodness sake so i had to try it um it looks a little darker than what i particularly enjoy when it comes to concealer but regardless i think i could still get some really good use out of this so very happy about that let's wipe off the hands so we're good for the next round of swatches. Okay. Um, I also did, I needed a new um, lash adhesive. Funny enough, that's how I realized that I'm not wearing lashes today. But I'm very comfortable in my look today, so it's all good. But this is the House of Lash um, Lash Adhesive in Clear. I particularly got this one, even though it's a different one than what I use, because it has a brush. I feel like I've been wasting quite a bit of product with the lash adhesive that I've been using because it is a squeeze tube and I squeeze out too much that I have to like dab off of the lash and it becomes like a whole thing. So I'm hopeful that this is going to be good. I also got two things from Makeup by Mario. I got one blush stick and one contour stick. The blush stick is in soft coral and the contour stick is in dark so let me see if i can figure out how to take yep just gonna swatch them for you all so you guys can see oh yeah once again i think i did good so this is in dark and this is the contour and this is in soft coral and this is a blush i just did a really quick swatch of them so um I don't know much, but I am very, very excited. I also picked up a highlighter. This is from Rem Beauty in this shade Miss Jupiter. Once again, this is another product that so many people were talking about in their end of the year favorites. And so I wanted to go ahead and pick this up. I had already swatched these in store and saw that I enjoyed the formula, but I just didn't have the money. I decided to use my points, of course, from Ulta. So that's how that became about. I also got a Maracuja Juicy Glow stick thing from Tarte, and this is in Amber Glow. I don't know if I'll get any product out. Oh yeah, I got some product out without having to push it up. And this is just a cream highlighter, really. I think it looks interesting. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I wanna get this on my face. Um, I also got a brownie lip liner. You guys know I've been complaining about that. This is from Makeup Revolution, and this is in the shade Americano Brown. I know somewhere I actually have the cream to go with this. I just, it's not in this particular basket. I also got a liner from House Labs. Somebody recommended these liners, saying that they were really good, so I decided to pick one up and it is down here it'll be interesting to try this in a tutorial to see if i really like it and they're really sticking with this like recycled feeling this the actual pencil feels like recycled paper as well 
Um, let's see. This is the Rare Beauty Lip Cream I talked about in my new makeup releases, which will be coming up later today. And this is in the shade Brave. Okay, it's like a burnt orangey-ish tone. I was hoping it was going to be a little bit different, but that's all good. It's all good. I picked it up. We're going to get some use out of her. I also got some mini lashes from House of Lashes. These are in the style Hazel. I've been wanting to try these. These are basically what they deem, I believe, to be like the glasses approved range. So I wanted to try a set. Um, I also got like a trio of stuff for free from ABH because I bought so much ABH stuff from Ulta at the time. This is the only one I kept. I'm giving away the other things to my cousin. Um, and this is just the mascara. I wanted to try the mascara, so I figured I would keep that. And then last in this basket is from Lorac. And this is an eyeshadow palette. People haven't been talking about Lorac lately and I was on the website and this just looked interesting. And so this is in the, sh the style Solil. And, oh my goodness, the palette is half mattes, half shimmers. So I figured I would give this a go. Once again, this was like a purchase via my points. So I didn't feel too, too bad about picking up as many eyeshadow palettes as I did because I have so many points. So let me get my bag because I have a whole bag on the floor and then we'll keep going through a bunch of stuff that I picked up. Okay, so... Like I said, I picked up a bunch of stuff. No judgment. This is the Ariana Grande New Scent in Mod. This is the Mod Vanilla. A lot of people that I follow really, really said that this was the favorite between the two scents. You will see I have the other scent. It's just buried because that's the one that I picked up first. This scent to me, you really have to let it linger on your skin. If you don't, at least for me, it wasn't a love at first sniff. I definitely had to let it sit there, marinate over my skin. By the time I got home and I, you know, I still had it on my skin, I was like, oh, this actually has something to it. But in the store, when I was trying to decide if I needed both or if I only needed one, this just didn't hit it because to me, this has that light airiness that people love from Cloud, which is very reminiscent of Baccarat Rouge. And it does have that vanilla focus, right? But to me, there's not a real uniqueness to this because of how it's similar, I feel, it's trying to be with this cloud and Baccarat Rouge situation. But I felt like there was enough muskiness and depth that you eventually got out of this scent that that's why I wanted to pick this up. And it doesn't really come out, in my opinion, until hours after it's been on your skin so yeah I did end up picking that one up and I will talk about the other one when we get to that one like I said it's buried I did end up getting this set this is a set of hand bombs from uh Beth the body shop now I've been getting really into getting my life together. And so I made sure to put a hand cream in all of my purses. I literally have one hand cream left. I need it and I just wanted to make sure I showcased this and I didn't throw it away. I get a lot of use out of these. Um, this is actually a really good formula in my opinion. It's nice and thick, but it does blend into your skin nicely. So in the event that you need a hand cream, I actually would recommend this. I really enjoy all three scents. My favorite of the scents, though, is the almond milk one. That one smells really, really good. So, yeah, there's that. I also got two different styles of lashes from Juvia's Place. Uh, let's see if I can figure out the styles quickly. So, this style is Egypt XL. And then this style is Nefertiti. I feel like I feel like I did good in choosing the particular styles that I did. I think I'm going to enjoy Egypt XL a little bit more just because once again it's very reminiscent to my Miami lashes, but the test is in putting them on. Like I said, I had that lip cream from um, Makeup Revolution somewhere. It was in the bag. I also got a lipstick from Juvia's Place. This one is in the shade Nile. Now I picked this up because this is a brown with a yellow undertone and I just, 
the package not the packaging the embossing on the actual bullet lipstick is just phenomenal i know this is like an old range but i was just very excited and oh this is gonna be a favorite this is gonna be a favorite do you see that shade i don't know if you can see it on my skin tone in the like lighting situation but this is definitely gonna be a favorite i cannot wait to put that on my lips at all can't wait and then i also picked up another thing that people were raving about and this is the ultra cream bronzer from makeup revolution i got this in the shade deep um everybody was raving about this cream bronzer and apparently it came out last year i don't actually recall this being a thing last year but last year was very very <laughs> complex for me so this could have easily come out last year and i just was not paying attention but very very excited to try this nonetheless Ooh, it's very very emollient very emollient very pigmented we'll see we'll see what happens we'll see what happens okay next fragrance i picked this baby up this is from chris collins and this is his dense sauvage scent so i did a video sometime last year um where i actually showcased his sampler set and in that sampler set there are quite a few that i enjoyed quite a few i didn't and as i continue to get more use out of the sampler set i realized that this was the one that shined above all this packaging outstanding you get the whole box experience and then the scent is just chilling here like this is a luxurious brand and i just knew that i wanted to get this during the winter season that's why i waited and i ended up ultimately picking this up during the sephora 20 percent off of scents i'm so happy i waited um oh there is like a boozy situation going on in here it's deep sultry inviting very very happy to have this so excited to get some use out of this baby i have a like dinner that i'm going to next weekend i may wear this because it's going to be dark and it'll just match the vibes of the whole outfit so yeah there's that this is just the packaging of the eyeshadow palette I just showed you guys um okay i got a cream blush from item and i'm crushing a lot of people were raving about these when these like first came out i just never got around to picking one up and this they're on sale for like ten dollars i don't know what's going on with the brand specifically when it comes to being in sephora but i wanted to scoop at least one shade up while they were still in sephora and yeah so this is the shade Ooh, it's like a i get i get why people enjoy this formula it's like a moussey formula so it doesn't feel overly creamy it doesn't feel like a powder it feels like a mousse to powder that's interesting that's very very interesting i want to get that on my cheeks and see how it applies on my skin tone I picked them both up the points the points guys i i had a stupid amount of points like i want to say over seven thousand points um and so i just decided this year i was actually going to spend them i don't think i actually spent my points last year at all which is why i had so many because usually i spend them and then i'm like out of so this one is the second one that she released this is the rose gold and people were really raving about this palette so i figured why not and then this wound up on a couple of people's number one palettes of 2022 so i was like maybe i'm missing something because i always was interested in this palette i just kind of talked myself out of it and this is it right here so very very excited to try both of these i'm not going to do like dedicated videos those will probably be in get ready with me sprinkled throughout um my videos i don't know this i already talked about i also got a 
conditioner um i just needed another conditioner i like to always have at least one backup of my conditioner and shampoo in my bathroom this one happens to be from the body shop and this is their dry scalp and weak hair scalp care conditioner you guys know my scalp goes through it every so often and so i just like to have my scalp care routine together um and so i'm just going to keep focusing on my scalp care because then ultimately that ensures that my whole head is protected and taken care of so i also picked up the rare beauty highlighter i know i said i wasn't going to i understand i understand completely what i said but the situation was that i was able to get this for a really really good deal um like 35 percent off so i i did it <laughs> i did it this is in the shade flaunt very very beautiful this is the gold i'm sure you've seen this already swatched talked about everywhere um it is right here it's a really really interesting formula it's very kind of similar to the item where it's a very unique formula i've literally never felt anything like that before it looks like it should be like one of those creams that you can like push your hands in but it's not it's quite it's just interesting um i do like it so i would recommend it in the event that you find a shade that you like and it's still in stock uh i say go for it i'm almost done with all the big ticket items another thing that i picked up during the sephora 20 percent off for fragrance is this fleur so this is a new scent that they just released and this is tangerine boy i just can't figure out how to open up the package so we gonna go we gonna go rogue and we gonna break the package to open the package oh it's supposed to slide out well you wasn't providing that information and i am like a child at christmas thank you and i just got the travel size because i didn't know how i was going to enjoy it and i didn't want to go too far in okay as you can see i bought a lot Ooh, ooh. Mm. i get it i get it so basically first of all of course you have to love tangerines if you don't like tangerines don't even look at it this is a full-on citrusy tangerine experience at the beginning and it has that like light airiness to it that I feel a lot of Fleur scents do have where it's like a there but not there. Think if you've never tried um, Fleur, think of like that clean, um, even think of like, uh, not philosophy, what is the brand? Um, Juliet has a gun. You know how their scents typically are very like they're there but they're not overpowering. This is what this smells like oh but it smells like tangerines which i love i love the smell of tangerines i love citruses in general that's just my cup of tea i eat a lot of like tangerines oranges stuff like that so i'm very happy to have that i'm not mad that i got this size because i find that getting this size if i go through it in the time that i think i'm going to then it makes sense to get the full size otherwise maybe sometimes getting the full size it just ain't worth it but tell that to my <laughs> all the fragrances that i picked up okay so next i did like i said got the mode blush um scent had i anticipated getting literally both scents i wouldn't have got them both in the three ounce i would have literally bought the one ounce duo that was available online only um it was just purely the fact that when i was in store this was the only one that i liked so that's the only one that i got and then i like ordered the other one in an order later on in the month once again i got all of this stuff with my points so i'm not like too hurt but like i could have got maybe another scent oh okay and this one to me is a little bit more romantic there's definitely some citruses in this one as well there's some rose i would say in this but it's a lighter version of like anything that you would think in that realm what i like about this one is to me this one is a little bit more unique whereas the mod vanilla to me literally smells like cloud but only focusing on the vanilla that's it with the musk of course but like this one to me is a lot more unique in her range um and just in general i don't really care about the packaging i know some people hate it some people love it i don't care i care about the juice and the juice is good so that's why i have them both 
Okay, we're getting down to the weeds of this bag. Last thing that I actually purchased in this bag is actually her REM scent. This was a scent that I smelled moons ago um, and I put on my list of scents to pick up in the future and I think Ulta had like a 20% off coupon specifically for fragrances or something. Who knows? And so I just decided to put this in the bag. Now, this is only the one ounce and I'm perfectly content with that. I don't think I need anything more than a one ounce for any of these scents unless it's like a favorite. And I hate, I hate the additional like packaging. It's just unnecessary. But this smells so good. You get like a lavender calming effect. This smells so, so good to me. Very nice. There is vanilla as well. Very, very happy to have this particular. Why is it falling all over the place? Very happy to have this particular scent. So everything else in this bag are samples. I did pick up the sampler set of the Pat McGrath um, foundation. I ultimately ended up just buying the foundation um, before I could even use this. So I think I'm going to give this away to a friend or something. Maybe they can get some use out of it. I also, like I told you guys, got like a three set from Ulta because I bought both of those uh, ABH um, eyeshadow palette so I got this I it had a brow product a lip gloss and then that mascara I just kept the mascara gave the other products to my cousin well I will be I just haven't done it yet I also got a sample of Killian's Angel Share very excited to smell this I know a lot of people love that scent these were the Ulta Beauty um, birthday gift and this was just under eye patching sure we'll see i probably will never get around to that this is vanilla woods by um the seven virtues i'm pretty sure my mom loves this scent so if she does i'm just gonna go ahead and give it to her she can have the sample she'll probably lose it before she finishes it but it's okay it's okay it's the thought that counts <laughs> i also got this tom ford sample set thing and it basically has a sample of his matte soft matte foundation i don't even know if tom ford is still doing makeup like that but i thought it'd be cool to try this uh foundation out because i knew i was itching to try new foundations i didn't get the samples in time but it is what it is i also ended up getting actually two sampler sets from sephora because the location that i was at they just had a whole bunch of these so they just were giving these out and then i got this one particularly for me so this is the tatcha one you get the rice wash you get the skin dewy moisturizer and then a sample of the liquid silk canvas i would love to try that one and then in this one you get the laguna bronzer and then the lip balm i'm not going to use the bronzer so that can once again go to my cousin or somebody else of a lighter skin tone and the lip balm i will definitely be keeping though so this is all of the stuff in that bag one last thing and then we're done I made another trial. Um, I went, I went, <laughs> I went back to Bath and Body Works. So if you guys have seen, I did a video where I did kind of fakeish vloggish style of the first day of Bath and Body Works sale for me. I did showcase all of the scents that I picked up then, and then people uploaded their own videos. And in some of the videos. There were some recommendations that I could not ignore. I couldn't, I couldn't ignore. So I made some purchases. One set is actually not here. So give me a second. I got to find it. It's in my bathroom because I think I wore it yesterday. So hold. Okay. So the set that I went looking for is actually the reason why I made orders in the first place, right? Because I was very content. I was content, but somebody had the audacity to say that this scent reminds them of P tea kettle tea what is it tea petal cake y'all know what i'm talking about it's the one that i can never say it was one of my favorite candles i was looking for this candle could not find it anywhere the person had the audacity to say that this scent reminds them of it it does not it does not remind me of that scent at all like at all now granted everybody's nose is different but to me this is completely different completely different this is a lot rosier it has that vanilla, but the rose is just so much more um, emphasized in this. 
than in that um, candle. Either way though, it's actually a really nice scent. So I'm happy I got them both, but this was something that I had to like order. And I, you know, I was playing no games. I ordered from my house to pick up in the stores and I did the shopping, but I also got a couple other things, not a lot. I picked up the blush cardigan lotion and this is going to go beautifully with this as does the vanilla version is going to go with vanilla mod so very happy to have that i somehow stumbled across strawberry snowflakes in the cream i already have the spray which was already like a unicorn i felt and then i stumbled across the cream oh so very very happy to get this set complete i know all the people get like the body washes and all that i don't have time nor space to hoard that much stuff <laughs> we're just gonna hoard what i can and this is what i can so i'm very happy with that and then the last cream that i picked up is the leather and brandy now my genius self thought that i have leather and brandy i don't have leather and brandy so i don't know why i had that in my head but i'm still happy to have this i'm sure i can get use out of this with some of my more manly colognes that i keep in my collection so that's it nothing much just a little something that i picked up for myself you know just the typical amount of stuff that people pick up during their birthday month but like i said for overall though a lot of the stuff i picked up through points um i actually had a sephora gift card a hundred dollar gift card because i redeemed my points that way and i also purely kept redeeming my ulta points multiple times there was one order where i literally didn't pay for anything because it literally evened out i literally had 128 dollars worth of points and the order was 128 dollars. so please do keep that in mind when you see this haul it literally was like a lot of points being cashed in for a lot of things that i either was interested in throughout the year or i saw a lot of people raving about and i just had to try myself so that's that i hope you guys oh you know what this one major thing that i got during the month so this is the this is the iPhone 14 Pro. There's a whole thing with these iPhone 14s. They're stupid. There's the 14, the 14 Pro, and the 14 Pro Max. It took a very long time for me to figure that out. I have the 14 Pro, and I'm very happy with it. It's exact same size as my 10 Max Pro, so that tells you how big the phones are getting now. I wish that it had three but it's okay I'm still happy with this I still haven't found the right cases and stuff but I will get to that eventually so this really was a big year for me um but I'm happy with a lot of the things that I was able to accomplish this year a lot of the improvements I made in myself and my thought and I have so much more to go but I'm still very happy nonetheless so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will see you guys in my next one, which will literally be in a couple of hours. I'm going to be uploading this one first, and then I'm going to be working on my must have must gag. So just stay tuned. You guys are going to be getting a double whammy because I just could not get out of my bed to film this yesterday. So yeah, I will see you guys in a couple of hours. Bye guys.